Oh, okay. Sorry about the delay. The second I was about to press start, my mirror dropped. So, still having a few technical difficulties. But, welcome. Um, let me set up my... Uh, my dog just got really excited with her... Uh, what is that? Um, her toy. So, Facebook... I hope everyone's doing really, really well today. I know that um, the weather sucks and all that fun stuff, but I hope everyone is safe and healthy and your families are doing good. So, I wanted to say that. All right, if anyone, the chat is up, so if anyone wants to say hi, you can. But yes. So, I am going to be doing pop art today. Now, I've always wanted to do pop art. Um, I did a, I tried doing it a long time ago, and I really had fun with it, but I never went anywhere. And that was, like, before face painting. So, I figured, why not? Tis nothing else to do. So, I think I'm going to start out with, if anyone remembers my creepy doll that I did for Halloween... We did it, uh, or I did it, where I took white and I made my face pale, but it was like all one color, almost close to porcelain. I think I'm going to do that today with white and a little bit of peach or orange or something. So I'm not super pale, but more like a comic book peach. Um, but, uh, but before I start the video, um, I just want to say, uh, thank you for watching. And if you hear any background noise, I do apologize. It is... Life of living with everyone. Um, trying to stay quarantined, trying to be safe, trying not to go out shopping too much. You know, only go out when needed, but then you're finding excuses to go out. Just like, oh, we need this, we must go. So, yeah. That being said, uh, yeah. Um, so I'm getting my colors undone. Uh, so those of you who don't, or ignore background noise, I'm... I don't know if I ever finished saying that. Anywho, um, whatchamacallit, uh, anyone who doesn't know what pop art is, it's kind of like a comic book, if anyone remembers, like, uh, Betty and Veronica, or old comic books where they have the dots all over their face and the dramatic shadows and everything's like flat like paper, that's what we're doing. At least that's the version of pop art that I was planning on doing today. So we're going to be experimenting with the peachy color. Um, we're going to start off with the base of white and then wipe on the other colors. So like I said, I'm going to hopefully go for more of an orange, but I might need to add a little bit of pink to it to make it more not like an Oompa Loompa. Um, that being said, let's get started. All right. Because I'm going to do my entire face, um... The best way to do that is, without a paint roller is to use a sponge. A sponge evenly distributes the paint across your face so you don't get super clunky and super itchy. So let's get started with that. Kelly! Alright, so I'm spritzing my sponge. Alright, getting it nice and moist. And then I'm going to spritz my white, spritz my pink, and spritz my orange. So I'm not going to be really touching the pink and orange with the sponge yet. I want to make sure that this is fully loaded. So because I am the way I am, I'm just going to cur just spin my brush in here. You know, make sure it's fully loaded. Look. Okay. And then, oh, hey Mario. We're going to spritz it some more and then I'm going to get more because I can still see on here. So I'm going to just swipe, 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 swipe. Oh, I forgot to mute my phone. Before I get too much paint on me. Let's see. We go here and we go no volume. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm not looking directly at you because I have a giant mirror right behind you. Anyways, so this we're just going to dab 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 dab. See how it has just a little bit of a twinge? It dirties the crap out of the orange, but that's fine. So we have this. I'm going to touch it up on my skin. Obviously way too white. So now we're going to touch a little bit of pink. And da da da. 
tab. Not really what I want. So we're going to do again with this. It'd be a lot easier, and I'm just going to smear it. It would be so much easier if I just did um, my regular foundation. But one thing I really like about doing these videos is I show you how to do this stuff with actual face paint and not... Um, and not makeup because a lot of times when I watch tutorials on how to do something, ooh, look, that's like the perfect peachy color. Um, I was always disappointed when they go, okay, now we're gonna add this, and you go, oh, all right, sweet, I can't wait to learn how they do this, and they bust out some makeup, and you're like, don't have that. All right, so I like that shade; it's a little oompa loompa y. Um, I'm gonna hmm, touch it up in the white. I hate doing that to my white. All right, I'm just, it's okay. We can clean everything after. We can clean, we can clean. All right, we're gonna spritz this. All right, now we're gonna go full on everything. So what I'm going to do is clip your hair, you know, you should always clip your hair back. I'm not saying it's gonna do anything to your hair. And Lord knows I get more paint in, in my hair than on my face sometimes. But we got this. Okay. So now that that's done, touch this up one more time. All right. And we can always, okay, I'm going to smear this right now just to get a good outline of what it is. I'm going to cover my eye. See, it's not a whole lot of paint. Now, normally I blend by dabbing. However, right now, because we have all this space and I'm trying to match it, we're not going to do that. Oh, I just took a shower. I'm going to get it all up in my hairline. But I want my face to be kind of like a blink. So I'm going to try redoing everything again. So I'm spritzing my three colors. I'm going to swipe in white first. Then I'm going to do a little swiping in the pink. And then I'm going to go full Monty on the orange. And it's a little out of orange. So we're going to go a little bit more on the, on the white. Okay. Like I said, we can always add color to this later. I just don't want to be pale, you know? Cover everything. Mmm. Get as close as you feel comfortable to the eyes. I, of course, covered mine. On the mascara I just did, we're going to cover up the eyebrows, so don't worry about the eyebrows. Now, if you're talented enough to, once you get, like, the dots and everything in, and you want to use your makeup, or just do this with your makeup if you don't have it, no, you want to make sure you get that, like, help blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I look like a oompa loompa when I look in the camera. Alright. We are now that I got most of that, I'm just dabbing. Cause like I said, I need to look thick, very cartoony. I'm gonna spritz this. I'm gonna spritz my white. I'm gonna come back over here. Cause this side is a lot whiter than this side. I'm just going to spread it out evenly. Not bad. Definitely not my color. But if I was a comic book, this would be right in my alley. But yeah, if you want to, if you're able to do all this with makeup that you have available in your bag of tricks, you know, do it. I, however, try to stay tried and true for the fact that I have almost I should have everything I need all right we are gonna let this dry so we're gonna bam so the whole point is to have a very blank canvas now if you don't want to be traditionally like like for instance like I'm going I'm trying to do like a comic version of me then you can always just um you can always just do like a, be a blue person or be a green person or you know be pink which would have been a really good alternative um uh i'm going to stick with that and i might do a couple no i don't have i'm not gonna do freckles on me 
but we'll see. My lip is bothering the crap out of me, so I'm gonna go spritz and just. Oh yeah, now I got a white mustache. And as paint dries, it tends to darken a little bit, so you don't really know. But yes, this is what... I never wear this much makeup. Only face paint. Only face paint. Alright, so now that I'm pretty much a blank canvas, other than my eyes, but I'm... We're... I might attempt doing eye, or I might do a very cartoony eye. But this is cartoon, so we might stick with that. So if you look at pop... While well, this dries. If you look at pop pop art uh portraits or face paintings it has everyone's crying and not really my thing i'm not big on making the that whole crying like sad bit i was however gonna bust out i have some curlers from dollar tree i was gonna like twirl up my hair and make it look like a just like i was getting ready in the morning which was like a comic book style you know however i'm like yeah i don't want to mess with that so while this is doing its thing I am, however, going to use the pink as my dots today. Because uh, I feel like if I did red dots, I'd look like I have pimples all over my face. And I don't really want that. So that's not that's how that's going to happen. So I'm going to do. The pink is still kind of dirty. But that's okay. We'll get over it. We're going to take our water. I'm going to spritz it. We're going to take our Q-tip. Everyone should have a Q-tip. If you don't have a Q-tip, you can always use your paintbrush. Um, I typically do use my paintbrush for dots, like for how we're doing this. However, um, I like, you know, not everyone has paintbrushes or most people have Q-tips. I just wanted to show you that there's other ways to do it. Um, you know, use the tools that you got. So right now I'm feeling very Q-tippy. So I'm just going to dot. See, perfect dot. Right, dot. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do pink, like... I'm showing you so my my paint is wet and so I'm just twirling this uh, q-tip in the paint and then I'm also pressing hard to squeeze out all the water out of it because you don't want like red pink drops falling okay I feel weird not having any lips all right so we're gonna start from the center and work our way down and then we'll work across because I want to try to do even Uh, okay, I'll catch you later, Aunt Kelly. Alright, so let's just go right here. We're gonna go up and up. Alright. I was talking to my cousin the other day who's been really getting into, uh, she is, likes learning different kinds of art, which I can totally appreciate. And so anyways, uh, my dots might be uneven, but we'll see. Nothing's going to be perfect gotta just live with what you do or you can always start over that's the best thing about having water activated paint any who's it what was i saying um oh yeah my cousin i was telling her i was gonna do pop art today and she goes i tried pop art once it did not turn out very well i'm like okay well i'll post this to youtube for you so i gotta do that this weekend all right so like i said i'm going straight down and then going here and then we're going here I think that's fine. You can always map this stuff out. I am just, I'm trying to get a good solid base. So I'm, I think I want to go across my forehead now. And so I'm estimating about a half inch apart. You can get about four good dots out of one dip. There we go. Might be difficult for you to see. Maybe let me change my... I think that, uh, no. Okay. This might make it a little bit easier for you guys to see the dots. Alright. So, we did those. Go here. Okay. So, what have you all been up to? I've been trying not to go insane. Like I said, if it's not even, that's totes okay. I was thinking about going into CVS like this. 
Alright, let's go here, and then here, and then here. Now, if you anyone remembers what I've said about white and pink and red in the past, is that the white absorbs the pinky and comes pink. If you notice, like right here, these first dots, they're kind of um lost. I'm just going to touch them up real quick. We're right, just going to go here and here, and we're not going to do that other one. So this part is very long and boring, and so we're just going to enjoy Kimber dotting her forehead. And all right, well, forehead's done. I kind of really like it already. Um, you know that there's an app to turn yourself into pop art. I tried to do it last night, but it it didn't really work for what I wanted it. <clears throat> so, now that we have the forehead done, let's do the under chin. Uh -huh. I have a feeling the cheeks are going to be the worst. All right, so I try to do a straight line of dots crossed. Let's see if we do... Like so. I don't know about y'all, but I loved the Archie comics growing up. Those totes, my fave. I'm starting to get annoyed with myself for saying totes. I should probably simmer down. Okay. Um, oh yeah, every time that was like one of the things my mom would buy me when I went to the grocery store was was uh, Archie Comics. She herself always loved the um, Richie Rich comics from back in the day. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a dot on the side of the nostril and a dot here. Okay. I'm going to let my hair down after this, so I don't really care to get, like, right here all that much. We're going to go up. Like so. Right. Now, we have this guy. We're going to avoid the eye area. We're going to go up here and do here. Where was that go? Probably could have avoided the eye socket area right here, but I was trying to like line. All right, so I guess I could go one more right here and just go like that. Okay, well there we have our dots. Again, this is the most boring part. Um, trying to think. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to get through this together. Alright, so we're going to do three. So, try to align with the dots on top. Okay. Totally messed up that last dot, but hey, it's okay. Look, it's I'm still using the same brush, so it's not like it's super crazy. Alright, brush. Same Q-tip. Alright, and we're gonna do one on this side of the eye. And then we have one on right here. And we have one on the side of the nostril. No, 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 no. <laughs> This poor Q-tip has almost seen its days, but we only have like half of the face left, dude. We got this. All right, we're going to do under the nostril right here. And right here, in the laugh line. And then we're going to go down. So we got this guy, that guy, that guy. And I'm going to twirl my Q-tip. And then we're going to go here. And here, 
I am going to have to switch q-tips as much as I wish I could continue to use that one. However, it is not happy right now. So, which is okay. I'm going to try squeezing all the paint out I can. It's trippy. See my eye? I feel like, like one of those, what is that, Avatar characters? Spritzing in a whole nother one that I kind of dipped into. Just soaking it all up with everything. All right. Let's continue. Go here. And then we're going to come down from here, which puts us here. And that one's a mistake. Let's see if I can clean this up very, very gently. Just for the other than the Q-tip. Uh-oh. It's okay. Okay, not okay. We're gonna take our handy nails wrench. You never clean your stuff until after you're done. Oh, there, magic. Like I didn't completely mess that up. Okay, so we have that, we have that. This one's more right here. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna spritz my pink again because it got a little dry. Hmm. Right, we're gonna come down. Go here. 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 And here. Yeah, if I did this in red, I would totally look like I had pimples all over my face. No, it just looks like they have really weird chicken pox. Like some hippo, uh, hippo pox. They got that from a, um, what was it? It was a children's book once, I think. Uh, yeah, let's soak up some more paint. Almost done. Go here, 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 and here, and here. Last ones I kind of just did. All right, so we have our comic book face. Ta-da! Now, let our dots dry. Um, so what were your guys' favorite comics? Anyone? Anyone at all? <clears throat> I need some water. Um, okay. Of course, we gotta do a red lip. So I'm gonna bust out my wannabe inner beautician. I'm gonna get one of my um, one of my brushes. What this guy? I'm gonna take my red. If I did pink, it would like my face would have a lot of pink. So we're gonna do red, and then we're gonna have fun doing the the contrasting highlights and such. So I like to do the red first because then we're gonna get into the shadows and stuff and then we can make like the red the lip very shiny very voluptuous so i'm going to just draw on my lip oh it's very uh maroony not my intention so i am going to dramatize my lips i'm gonna go a little bit below Very plummy. Kind of like it. Feel very Lucille Ball with like super plump lips. Hmm. I'm 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I do not do makeup tutorials. Because I can never get it even. As face painting, if you're not even, it's fine. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to let this be. Then what should we do next? I was thinking of maybe some eyeshadow, but I kind of don't really want to mess with it, but we should do something. So maybe we want to rinse off that brush. Let's have some fun. I'm thinking blue. We're going to spritz it. We're going to do like a wannabe thin eyeliner. I never understood like blue eyeshadow. But, I mean, then again, it's not my color. Let that go. Alright, am I dry? Uh, kinda. I'm just going to not pull. I'm just going to paint. And you do not have to do this. I just want to see what to do. Like I said, my first attempt at pop art. I thought this would be fun. Now if you don't want to, you absolutely do not have to do anything like this. Now I will probably outline it in black. Well, there's a look. That's why you always want to make sure your brush has plenty of paint on it. Very dramatized. I'm spinning and I'm spinning. Maybe I'll just do the whole hook thing very Cruella de Vil. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's cracking me up. Okay, we're gonna do the same on this side. I look so silly. I love it. Alright. Now this is the part that I always mess up because I'm never even. Alright, so we're gonna just go like we started over here. I'm just gonna go across. And then try to fill in the eyelid. And then maybe, well, not maybe. I just went straight for it. Hmm, I think this one's higher. It's okay. <laughs> I always love dress up days at work. I worked at a Starbucks and we had uh, dress up days. I thought that was always so much fun. I loved the 80s days. Okay, this one's high, this one's low. And then drag queen lips. No, they do it way better than me. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to even this out. We're going to go up on this side. Like so. Up and out. Like that. I think I almost fixed it. I will do more out. Now we do have this line right here. Let's see if I can fix that. This guy just roll. No, nope, it didn't work. Okay, it might. Hold on. Give it a minute. Get some more wet. Alright, there. That's as good as that's going to get. I need to touch up on this eye though. If you can't, like, like I have, I don't know why, but my eye is very uh, stretchy. You can always grab, or you can just dab. Now try going down. That worked. Okay. Same with this one. I'm gonna grab, and I'm gonna just my mess looks so weird right now. All right, I'm gonna to touch it, pull it in a little bit more right here. Maybe I just found my new Halloween costume. Mm, what about this? I'm gonna come in a little bit right here. If I was to do this on a kid, I'd probably just do the dots 
fun lips, probably not this crazy bit of eye. I just don't like this pink dot right here. It looks very... Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, if we keep messing with it, it's not gonna do anything. I do feel very Coelho de Ville. We're gonna let that pass. I am, however, gonna add my laugh lines and possibly my forehead lines because I, that's me. So, I'm gonna take our handy dandy wound school brush. Ooh, my eyelids are sticking. I'm gonna get my black. I would normally would recommend doing the highlights first, however, we're still, still experimenting. So I sprayed my melted California black. And I'm getting my whimsical brush very, very wet. So we want it a clean line, like so. See? Um, shout out to anyone who is a comic person because I just don't have patience for that. I barely have patience for this. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with my lines. So if you notice, my lines have already creased because of the makeup, which is cool because then I just have to, so we're going to go like that, like that, I feel like an old lady, maybe I'll just go with that. Oh, this is, this is Pop Art Timber Old Lady. And they always have like a crease right there, and we're going to... Ooh, I need a bigger one if I'm going to do my eyebrow. But, alright, so try to do your natural lines in your face. So because I've been wearing the one makeup, all the crease are nice and relevant, like right here. So we're going to go my laugh lines. I'm going to go a little bit of a chin line right there. Ooh, I like it already. I have a little dimple right here. I don't have one on the other side, so we're gonna leave that. But All right now for the nose. I'm going to do like a overly dramatized line right there. I might fill it in from here. I want this side. And then I have a very, like that. So it's okay if it broke up. If you want to go back and do it again, why don't you do? And do that. And then, I'm gonna do a, like a little line right here. And I think, Give myself a little bit of cheekbone. <laughs> I'm gonna set that brush down for a second. We're not gonna we're not done with it yet. But I'm thinking I want to get this brush. So it's a rounded flat brush. I'm gonna dip it in the water. I'm gonna tap it off. We're gonna get it in the black. I could do brown, however, we're sticking with the black for this. So now we're going to paint my eyebrows. I'm just pressing. And then we're turning it like so. Um, Def, not my typical eyebrow. And we'll try to get similar to the other side. I was watching a show. I don't remember what show. The person was like, um, your eyebrows are not twins. They're sisters. It's okay if they look a little different. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to use that from now on because that mine never are twinsies. So, just follow the natural contours of your face if you wanted to do like a cartoon version of yourself. I'm going to give myself a little bit more of a thickness right here. Why are you so... <sighs> There. 
We're gonna go down a little bit. So um, right with this, we're gonna put a little another little dimple thing right here on this side. And we're gonna dip it back in the black. And we are going, hmm. I guess I could outline my face, but I really don't want to. We're gonna play around with the eye now. So I'm gonna take one of my smaller pointed brushes. We're still holding on to that other guy. We're just setting it down. I think this will be the first week in all my face painting where I did not use gems. Because I don't really feel like doing gems for this either. All right, so we're gonna grab here and we're gonna just pull a am. I'm just going to do a black line like that. I'm gonna sell some eyeliner. Dramatized eyelashes. Ricky just looked at me. All right, and then we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna do something very similar, hopefully. I know that eyebrows can be sisters. I don't think the eyes can be anything but twins. And we're gonna probably go a little thicker because that's just what I do. Yeah, very quality bill. Drawing in a bunch of random eyelashes. Nice. Scary. Alright, so we're gonna just like curl. Hmm, I guess. Anyways, y'all will forgive me for that. Anyways, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna pull this all back, line it up with the eyeliner. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna take the whimsical detail brush that we do, has had sitting on the side. We're gonna probably just lightly up and outline just the top of that to help clean it up just a tad same with the other side Ooh, okay. a lot cleaner uh, I just hate the eyelashes over here oh, thicken them up over here too all right Getting back to this, now we have the lips. So I'm just going to, ooh, probably should have stretched that out. Very wet, paint brush. That is not going to be fun to wash off, let me tell you. Hmm. Could have done better. Now it looks like I have super Botoxy lips. I'm going gonna... right. to... I'm going to rinse that off. My nose looks funny because I'm see myself in two screens and a mirror. All right, now we gotta go back to our white. Now this white has had a very long day. It's all nice and stained. We're gonna just touch it a little bit. All right, like so. Make sure you test on yourself. Perfect. So with this, I'm going to just do a highlight on my eyebrow. This right there. Maybe a Low light of this eyebrow. Not low light, just a dramatization. And just do a little boop on my nose. And then now on the lips, we're gonna go. Do not like that. We're going to fix that. I'm just going to do the bottom first. Alright. 
I'm gonna fix the red because I don't like that. So we're going to wipe off, clean up one of our the brushes that we were using, get a red back out. Spritzer. Almost done, people. Almost done. Uh, See if I can outline there. Okay, I'm gonna take that white again. I'm just gonna do a dot like we did on the bottom one over here. Like, oh no. Like that. So there is that. <laughs> I kind of just want to put a dot on my dimple. Anywho, so that is Happy Friday. That is my pop art face painting. You do not have to do this Cruella Deville blue. I'm, this isn't too shabby. Lips, I wanted redder. I'm okay with this. Wish my hair was a little bit more cooperative. But, oh. I don't think you can really have pop out without gigantic fake party costume pearls. So, let's see. There. My little cardigan. All right, what do you guys think? Oh, that, that blue dramatized my wink. I think my nose is my favorite part. <laughs> okay. Uh, with all in retrospect, I probably should have done a more baby blue, but I'm not mad at it. So, Fun costume idea for future. Don't know if I'll do this, but we'll see. Feel very comic booky. Alright, well you guys have a great Friday. And I might go to the store like this. We'll see. I have one of those see-through masks. <gasps> It'll be great. Alright, well y'all have a great day. And thank you very much for watching this. The four headlines make me feel a little old, but I mean, it's my natural lines. All right, I'll let you guys go. Bye-bye.